All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to another radio video on this uh, rainy night here in southern Illinois. Temperature is dropping. It's 9:22 p.m. or 3:22 UTC, and this little video here is um, a request I had from one of uh, comments in my one of my previous videos, uh, wanting to know how what my settings are for my waterfall display because they he likes the uh, the kind of yellow and he wanted to know what my settings were but he has a 7300 and this is an 8600 well I'm thinking that maybe the 7300 is done the same way uh, I don't know but uh, this will give you an idea of what my settings are to get the display to look like this so if you notice, let me just tap this. If you notice, a lot of you know my signals are yellow and they have a black line outlining them, and the strong signals, it's red. It has a red line. Now, in order to get this color scheme, okay, down here where I expanded the waterfall, right here in the bottom right-hand corner. You gotta tap and hold it for once for about a second, and you will get this menu here. This has to do with the scope settings. So as you can see here, I'll go pretty slow so you can in case you want to write it down. My max hold is on. The center type display is carrier point center, ABS frequency. Marker position is fixed type carrier point. VBW is narrow. My averaging is 3. The waveform type is fill plus line. The waveform color is yellow. Uh, the R is 255. The G is 255. And the B is 45, which is red, green, and blue. The waveform color line is R35, G0, B0, and the way you adjust those is you just tap on it, and you have each one, you just tap on which one you want to adjust and get those numbers to match. Okay, now the next screen, the waveform color max hold is a black, pretty much, R23, G0, B0, Marker color for the RX is of a green, R0, G255, B50. The marker color peak is 255, 255, and 255. The waterfall display is on. The waterfall speed is mid. Waterfall size, expand screen, is small. That's the way I like it, it makes it about even. The waterfall peak color level is grid 4. Waterfall marker auto hide is on. And these are just the default settings here on this last uh, page. 6 dB, minus 70 in current. And that's the way I have mine set. And that's the way you adjust uh, your scope settings. Now there is three settings for this when you tap it I like it like this because it's it's about halfway if you set it for um, large or whatever it is your your little signal spikes will be way up here and they'll be real small and just your waterfall will be really big medium it's just a little bit this is this is about even right here this is the way I keep it on small because you, you still get good signal peaks but you still get good waterfall to look at and just you just tap it once to cycle back and forth but if you want to change your scope settings just tap and hold it and it'll open up and that's the way you do it and there's no your phone in your menu the scope it just it just will turn your scope on and off and it has nothing to do, but all you, all your settings are done 
by when you're in the receive mode just tap and hold that and set the settings and hopefully the 7300 will have the same sort of menu and you can put those numbers in and you should get a display that looks like that so I hope that helps and um, thanks for watching my videos and liking them and subscribing to them I'm really you know appreciative of all that and um, any any fellow radio geeks out there you know just you know good listening and uh, keep listening and I hope your conditions are good and so with that I will say thanks for watching this video and I will see you on the next one take care everyone and see you next time